Okay, so we're going to do some Lucinia here, and I'm not going to be very good at the commentary, so I will just try my best and see how this goes. Compared to a lot of other people, my commentary is not going to be that great, so I apologize. This is the Struggle Lost Chapter Lucinia for lots of lore. Managed to get Ash's LD, that was part of the banner, with a bit of expenditure. You gotta work. Screw it, it's working out. Um, well, so I saw other people's comps. I attempted it my own. And I just really kind of just wanted to take Garnet to everything because she was the first one I purpled and maxed out boards and stuff for. First one I really built. And she's just been kind of on the back burner. She won't be getting anything for a few months. So, but it's. I see people do kind of themed runs with specific characters. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. So I've been slowly up to loading, rerunning and uploading uh, old Lufania, taking her. Thanks to Tifa, because Tifa's overpowered and broken. But, yeah. I do apologize if I sound like I'm rambling. It's probably going to be most of the video. But, anyway, for Lufania, we have two waves, kind of uncommon. I think there's only three or four that have two waves for launch chapters and stuff like that. I know Gals has three. Uh, Shinryu had two. But this first wave, like many of the other ones, honestly does not have any real relevance, so we're just kind of plowing through as much as I can without using too much of my skills on Tifa for sure. So, but we will try to figure out if we can do it with Garnet. And, spoiler alert, yeah, I was successful even though it took a few, um, retries. But, tried different things. I, did, I, I refused to remove Garnet from the team, so that is going to just be kind of, hopefully, a running thing. So, you're supposed for the Lucinia Orb for these behemoths, you need to hit them with either Thunder or Holy to give them a tick up on their countdown. If you hit them with both, which is Ash's whole thing, it will actually go up by one. Because uh, if you hit them with just one, it will just kind of stay the same. So, I thought about bringing her here. Um, but I was like, I feel like I might need some more damage. And I, I feel like I tend to copy other people's strategies a little bit too much. So I'm just like, I'm going to try and do my own work. So, this seems to work out just fine. The only problem is these behemoths, if you don't let them act for too long, they will, like, increase their defense and stuff like that. And become a royal pain in the ass. So, Garland is probably not, like, the best choice here because he delays them. But I didn't delay, I wasn't delaying them as much as, you know, most people would with Garland. Um, I've seen people use Tifa, obviously. Uh, Terra and Yang. Um, I think people have been bringing parts for his burst effect. But that's why I have a friend Barks here, actually. Um, I do have, I did get Ash's LD after, god, I think, 
40, 50 tickets. Um, and like 10 k tickets. That's all I have too, so. But, I did get it. She's fully built. I opted to not fully build Shrago for right now. So, but I do have Ash's LB call on Garland. He's gonna call me the slowest runner character right now. Just so the buff that lets it lets the party hit for uh, thunder and the damage doesn't wear out too quickly. Would have liked to try and just hold this friend bark in here for as long as I can, but I like I don't wanna blow through too many abilities on Tifa right off the bat, so just kind of did did normal kind of stuff for her without obviously going to overboard. Um the video that it's actually that I'm commenting for right now is actually I, I had to cut it because I when I first tried this comp on this uh, this wave they wiped me and I was like so close to the end so but instead of like stopping the recording and, and retrying and stuff like that I just hit retry from wave two and then I just edited that so no one can see my my shame. Uh, going to mention also that I joined the Dystopian Discord, and they've all been very helpful, very friendly. They're very uh, quaint, all around basically friendly Discord. Um, I'm not much of a people person. I don't do well talking with others right off the bat. But I'm kind of like, nah, we'll see. We'll give it a shot. Um, especially after the main person whose videos I watched all the time for Dystopia, Clay, kind of like posted a Discord invite. I'm like, yeah, let's give it a shot. Apparently I'm well known for my very long-winded comments on my novels, if you prefer. So, um, I was debating whether or not to also do commentary for this, because I don't do commentary usually. I'm not very good at just kind of ad-libbing for scripted stuff, I guess. I have to try very hard at which I think has done pretty well so far since I made it, made it this far into the video with commenting. Uh, for the video, actually, you're gonna see it's going to get extremely scary. And I had, if I should have put my little like health tracker thing on my wrist, to see how fast my heart rate was going. And it got, it was getting real bad. I'm just like, oof. But, managed to pull through, thankfully. Uh, I was worried that Garnet was not pulling enough DPS damage. Um, but thankfully, we got through it. Yeah, so, like, yeah, right here. That B is getting real close to... Um, yeah, his almost ending. Trying to push him back. And then it's gonna get real ugly here. And the Ash LD just wore out. This is gonna hurt. Oof. Thankfully, Garnet has that um, last stand with her EX. Alexander. The only problem is that she doesn't do as much healing as I would like for her to. Thankfully, this, I was, I was like, if this doesn't kill it, we're dead. And then it came down to the same thing. I'm like, oh boy, I need to do something here 
It's almost dead. Gotta just keep that orb there. And I'm like, oh, I'm like way over the damage limit. Can I? And I noticed Garnet's EX was almost done, so I'm like, I just need to stall. But now he's gonna, yeah, because they take two turns off their own stuff. So I'm like, okay, gotta risk it. Gonna do that. Realized I used my last parrot up. I'm like, I still have that. Hammer of Judgment to do that, and I'm like, please, please kill it. I wasn't taking any chances. I'm watching it. So, and that was another, oh boy, that didn't kill it. So, that's it for that first current Lufinia with Garnet. Hopefully I can keep this going, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.